Hey fellow travelers, we're gonna have some fun today trying out a new gadget. Come on, let's go inside. Okay, now that I've got you inside, I bet you're wondering, okay, what's the gadget? Well, the gadget is, it's a dash cam. And no, don't run away saying, I've already got a dash cam. I don't need to watch another one of these videos. This is a really unique um, dash cam, and I think you're going to want to see it all the way through. Now, as a bit of history, we've been traveling in Monty for about five years. Filming actively for the last couple of years, we've gone through a lot of dash cams. The most recent one is a, it's been a really good dash cam. It's a cam park. It's, um, it's got both the interior cam and the outside cam. We've been having trouble with the mount. It's got this, the traditional suction mount, which is fine for attaching to the windscreen. But we found that there's a fair bit of uh, vibration in this joint and we can't stop it. This motorhome is a choppy motorhome. It's a, it's a 30 foot diesel pusher with a short wheelbase, quite choppy. And this is, this is just, this aggravates it. Um, to the point where some viewers have said they get seasick watching our videos. So we've been looking for a new dash cam. And then out of the blue, we're approached by VFO. VFO, I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. V-I-O-F-O, -O, a company that specializes in, I would say upscale uh, dash cams for vehicles, mostly cars. Um, and I thought, why wouldn't we try this? But Kayla and I have, have a pact that we will not accept uh, promotional items if we can't use them and if we don't believe in them. We really want them to be kind of exceptional. And when I got this invitation, I got on YouTube and I researched this type of uh, cam and the company. And whoa, I found that there are just endless um, reviews by professionals, not people that have been given this camera by Vifo. And the reviews are much more technical than I can ever understand. But it's a really well thought of company and dash cam. So it was a no brainer for us to accept this. We thought, what have we got to lose? The company's very professional. They haven't put any expectations on it. They just simply said, would you try it? And then post a video and let us know what you think. And they're looking forward to our reaction. I really like their approach. So this is what arrived at our home. organized now. So here's a simpler view of everything that was in the package. The SD card, lens filter, Bluetooth remote, manual, hardwire kit to the battery, the dash cam itself, interior camera, the USB cable. This I gather is to tuck your wires away neatly new dash sections, um, power cable, main power cable, cigarette lighter, adapter, and we'll figure this one out. That's it. Let's take it to Marty and get this thing installed. Before we get going into some of the details, I want to say something. Please, I am not an expert. I am not a techie person. If you want to know the, the fine details of this dash cam, do what I did. I went onto YouTube and found endless numbers of reviews that I mostly didn't understand because they were so technical. But 
lots of people like that kind of detail. So please go and research it there. And I think you'll find that it's a pretty well thought of, highly regarded dash cam. But for me, Michaela and I, we're kind of a mom and pop operation. We just want to have something that's simple to use, easy to understand. We just want to plug and go. We don't want to know all the details and so on. And I suspect a lot of you are like us in that respect. Basically, we want a dash cam for three main reasons. One is safety and observation, so that when we're on the road driving, it, it does provide some safety in that you can see what's happening in live time if something happened. Does that make sense? What I'm meaning is if there was an accident and you were wanting to prove that you were not in the um, wrong, that's Michaela behind the camera telling me what to say. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, though? That if you if you're in an accident and you wanted to prove that, then the dash cam is an excellent way of saying, "Look at this is what happened." Whoa! Whoa. Or you may be witness to a terrible accident or something else that you want to show to the police or to somebody else. Then it's it's a really useful device. So that's the safety and observation part of it. Um, and secondly, we want a, a good dash cam that shows both interior shots and exterior shots for the purpose of making our YouTube videos. Um, and, and again, we want something simple, but that really of high quality in terms of sound and image quality. And thirdly, we want something that we can use almost like a security camera when we're boondocking, or when we're parking, or when shopping, we're leaving our rig alone, we have pets inside, we have a lot of stuff in the bays, and uh, at nighttime when you're boondocking, let's say you're in Quartzsite, which we go to every year, um, in fairly remote places, uh, it's kind of nice to know what's going out on outside your vehicle at night. And with this, we'll show you later, there's a park mode where you can have basically 24 hour security using this camera. Okay, just a few details here. Again, not going into great detail, but I think just the basics. We're using a two-channel unit here with um, two-channel, meaning one channel is the dash cam looking out where we're going, and the other is the interior uh, camera pointing into the cab. Two-channel. You could have three channels. You could have a rear camera on this, and uh, the, then you have three channels. What I really like is easy removal of the uh, micro SD card, easy to punch out from the side. Uh, it came with a 32 gigabyte. That's not very much. You want more than that. It can take up to 512 gigabytes. To me, that's insane. You don't need anything that much if you're, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're making our uh, traveling YouTube videos or whatever, because that's so much data. That's so much video that you, you'll go nuts trying to sort through that. I like about 128 gigabytes. Um, that's plenty. So I think we'll upgrade to that card. Um, what else to tell you? It looks as though, and we'll know more when we get to this home and we play it back, large cavities for speakers and for microphones. So I think it's going to, I'm hoping that it's really going to pick up the sound really well, much more so than our older one. It comes with a polarizing lens that you can't see, but it's on the camera itself. And it, it just acts like Polaroid sunglasses. Just decreases the glare from the windscreen. Um, there's also um, an articulating lens, meaning it just moves up and down. So right now I've got my finger on it. It's facing forward. You can't see it. But you can angle it so that it's pointing down. If you want to look at people's shoes and, and little mice going across the road, well, there, there you go. Or if you want to watch airplanes, you point it up. But it has about five or six settings, which is really, really good. The other thing I like about this so far is the flexibility with the um, interior cam. You can see the cable goes up here to the cam, but this can be removed and it can be moved anywhere within the confines of the length of this cable, which is about one meter, about three feet. And that's really helpful because if you want to take that and move it around inside the dash area to get different um, um, scenes, I think it's really a good idea.
It's a great feature. Another feature I really like is the ease of, of taking this off the, um, the mount. It's effortless and yet it's on there really securely. This is a GPS mount and we'll just leave it there on the windscreen. And then you can just put this back up each time you want to uh, activate it again. Just need to get a feel of it. So another really cool feature is it takes voice commands. So you can, from the, the from your seat, from the from either seat, you can say things like audio on, audio off, cam on, cam off. Pretty simple stuff, but it's really helpful, I think, while you're driving. Speaking of that, there's a little button here. Don't know if you can see this very clearly. We've attached this to this part of the dash because it's convenient for me to push or Michaela to push. And it's a Bluetooth remote control. And this allows you to control this camera as well. There's a number of different ways you can control it. It's pretty cool. So for instance, if you're traveling down the road and something terrible happens in front of you and you think, oh my God, I want that footage. I don't want that to be lost. I don't want it to be run over if you're in a loop on the camera. You just push it. And that will freeze that frame in your camera and you won't lose it. You can give that to the police or bring it up later on for insurance company purposes or whatever. There's also buttons on the side. And for instance, one of them will, will adjust the audio, turn the audio on and off. Um, and I'm not too sure about the second one. But anyway, you'll get used to this being a useful Bluetooth device. And, you know, I'm realizing that you probably would like to see this thing in full color and whatever. But it's just impossible to do with this camera. We, we can't show you everything that we're doing here. If I start playing around with these buttons, you're going to fall asleep, leave for the kitchen, or do something because you won't. it'll be useless material. So if you don't mind, I'm not going to go through all the functions. That's something you have to learn when you read the manual, which, by the way, you can read. This manual is very readable. It's in black and white. Sorry, it's in color. And it's, it's, the English is perfect. They did a really good job putting the manual together. And it's a small little booklet. Can I just have it, honey? Thank you. This is the manual. Short and sweet. Everything you, you need to know. Love it. And the last thing I just want to go over with you is, I know there's lots of people out there who, who live by their smartphones. There's an app. In here, you just, whether you've got a an Android phone or an iPhone, all I did was I took a picture of the barcode it immediately went to the app store. The app showed up on my phone in seconds. And you've got an app that you can control this phone with. So if your co-pilot wants to do that from their seat as you're driving along, rather than getting up and using either this remote or not having to come up here, which is dangerous if you're traveling and you're trying to adjust your phone from here, if, if the driver had to brake really suddenly, you're in trouble. So with this app, you can sit in your chair and just control the phone. And with this app, you can see live views of both cameras. So your interior camera and the front facing camera. You can change settings and you can view your video files all on the app from your seat. All on, your, all on the app from your lap. That's pretty cool. Now before we hit the road for the road test, I want to just make one more point. We talked about the parking mode being really important to us because of our boondocking and uh, parking in um, shopping centers and that type of thing, leaving the RV on its own. So what we're going to do is use the hardwire kit that they provided, which I think is terrific. We might have to add a little bit of length because of the length of our motorhome. But what this allows you to do is basically have 24 hour power to your unit without having to have the ignition on. And it's got the capacity to ensure that it doesn't draw down your battery below a certain level so that you, you don't have to worry about your battery coming back to your RV and finding the battery dead because this thing sucked the juice out of it. It wouldn't draw that much anyway. It would have to be on for a long time. So what you do with this is this, this end plugs into your dash cam and you run this colored cabling to your battery, directly to your battery, and you've got power. Okay, we have the cameras on, right? 
Well, folks, we're almost at the end of our road test. Thanks for coming along. So we know that the issue of whether or not this camera is going to be a solid mount on the windshield versus our other one that had some vibration, we won't be able to tell that until you see the video along with us. But I have a pretty good feeling that the way this is secured to the windscreen is going to be a really tight, secure mount, better than the other one. And we won't know what the image quality is like until you see it with us on the video. So we'll have to wait for that. And you can bet I'm going to be hardwiring the, um, the continuous power uh, line into this camera so that we can um, have the parking mode activated when we're traveling. We go away to, for four to five months at a time, and there's many times when we're out in the middle of nowhere, and it'll just be a really nice security feature. Anyway, hope that you've enjoyed this video. We're putting the uh, information about this dash cam in our uh, video description part as well as the comment section. We'll, we'll put a link in there where you can buy it. Um, we have hope that you enjoyed this. And based on what we've seen um, with I this unit, I love it so far. We love it. Yeah. We, we feel good recommending it to you. And we hope that you do um, think about it. And whether you buy this one or another one, every RVer needs one of these things. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Okay, that's a wrap.